free from the cycle of blaming herself, Rachel can now learn about a real condition and find treatment. <laughs> Carol's life is also on the up, and her therapist Jeremy is excited by her speedy progress. It's fantastic that her world has just grown substantially. Did the chickens and stuff first, and the, yeah, I always find it hard when I'm. The energy that she's had to expend in her double life was wearing her down to a point where she might not have been able to continue to to cope psychologically. The fact that she's made these changes now is is brilliant, and now she's perhaps for the first time in a long time. Experienced something that she、uh, didn't know that she could experience, and that's a fantastic thing. Do you want to tell me about your week? Yeah, having it's Carol's final session, and Jeremy wants her to try and drop some of her obsessive washing habits. See, Carol, I, I think you've you've actually come quite a long way in the short time that you've been working on well on just this change. Yeah.、Um, I'm just, I'm wondering how you would feel about pushing yourself a little bit. To get those comfort zones a little wider,、mm. I'd like you to start doing a few little, let's say, field experiments, real、yeah. life experiments. Yeah. Jeremy suggests Carol doesn't shower for the whole day. He also wants her to rely on her husband to tell her if she smells. See, I've never ever been able to sort of do that. I think I could do that. I think I could say to my husband, "Can you smell anything?"、Really、Which is so different to anything I would have ever done in the、yeah. past. Either way, we can smell you. Then it's、yeah. useful because you, you, it's an、yeah. experiment has shown that. But it's not going to be in the world if he it, says yes. Exactly. Again, and it, it's well, he's not going to leave you or no. Or stop loving you. No. You no. I do know that yeah. now. Yeah. Exactly. See,、and、I would never ever. You've never tried that, have you? Oh no, I've never、yeah. even dreamed of doing、yeah. that. I never thought that I would get to the stage where I would allow that to happen. Right, where do you want to go now? Yeah, it's all good. The very next day, Carol takes Jeremy's advice and goes out without a shower. Steve is on standby to alert her of any smells. It would have to be careful the way you say it, but.、Um... If there was an odour and, and what I did detect it, then it would never be a problem to me because Carol's my wife and we are a couple. I'm in a different frame of mind altogether now to what I was. I would never, in a million years, have asked him, you know, at what stage can you smell me? Because it would just be so far off of anything that I would have ever done. So I'm really pleased that that's come up, and I'm really pleased that I know that I can do that. <laughs> Reassured by the fact that Steve can't smell her, Carol plans to have family over for a barbecue that evening. Steve is encouraged by his wife's newfound spontaneity. Yeah, I'll let you know at the end. I'll let you know at the end of the night. No, it's a big step. Two weeks ago, Carol was showering thoroughly three times a day. But now she's having guests round and hasn't even washed yet. Okay, right. It's only sort of ten minutes before they get here, so I'm going to go and have a quick wash. Before it would have been like the full works; it would have been a full shower and scrub up. So at least I'm only going to have a quick wash and change my top. But with only a few minutes to spend in the bathroom after a long, busy day. Will Carol really feel comfortable at the barbecue? Fish is a major trigger and can cause Thomas to emit the foulest odor. Unfortunately for Vicky, it's his favourite food. Oh, there's only two pieces of big fish left, Tom. <laughs> to try and control his smell, Vicky bans Thomas from having fish on school nights. He gets his treat on a Friday or Saturday evening. Comes to the fish shop to get his fish. That small、yeah. one or the big one? The big one. Oh, look at that, Tom. Yes, please. Vicky thinks it's important that her son enjoys the same things as everyone else. Thank you. She doesn't want his condition to give him a complex. Look at that for a piece of fish, Tom. You manage, Tom. Use your fork as well. I can manage. 
he loves to eat fish, so it's, it's obviously it's going to have the consequences tomorrow because he's eating it. But to deny him totally, I don't think you know we should do um, because he'd probably crave it even more. Come on, mate. You mean, can I even walk? No, you go straight to sleep now. Vicky knows that she'll have to completely strip his mattress and bedding tomorrow because the smell will be so strong. It's the following morning, and Vicky can already smell Thomas as she walks into his room. Morning, Tom. Time to get up, May. You all right? There's a strong um, odour in the room. It um, smells basically like we've been cooking fish in here all night. I smell because I've eaten the fish the night before, so I don't like... I like Saturdays, um, I like off smell. So I know I'm going to smell off Saturdays, like all our fish on Fridays. Fish and eggs are his favourite foods at the minute, but I think when he gets to his teenage years, he will, I think he would rather rule them completely out of his diet because the smell is so unpleasant and nasty, it is awful. <laughs> Although she's able to indulge him at this age, it is going to get harder when he becomes a teenager. <laughs> Excuse me, boys. How come you've all nabbed the best seat? Typical. For Carol, she's a totally different person now that she's started talking about her condition. I feel scared really the fact that I let it get so bad but I never ever considered talking about it and now it seems it seems silly why, why did I not consider talking about it as the evening goes into full swing it's clear that the last thing on Carol's mind is washing it's just nice to be here now just be where I am now and hear the laughter and the noise going on in the background and it's, it's just good to be where I am now Carol knows that her syndrome will never go away. But she's finally got more control of her behaviour. People are still going to love me and still like me, with or without the odour, which is something I probably couldn't get away from before. I just thought that if they could smell me, then they wouldn't like me. It was almost like a simplistic of that. For now, Thomas accepts he is a boy that smells of fish. Like when I got really fat and the fish odour comes off me. It's thanks to his family's openness that he always feels completely supported. We try not to make it an issue, we just get on with it really. As I say, you know, it's something we've got to live with. We'd rather him have that than some, some other illness. It's not something we're ashamed of. He can't help it. And Rachel now feels ready to live a fuller life. It feels as if I've been going round and round in circles for at least 10 years. I've spent a lot of energy, a lot of money, so much money on things, and just never really getting any further with it but now it feels like a real positive step forward it's a chemical thing and it's a genetic condition it's it's not my fault